Welcome back to part two of the custom rig build. Hope you enjoyed the first part. So without further ado, here is the remainder all the way up to the exciting conclusion. Thanks again. Well, remember, I wanted to integrate this guy. And so how am I gonna do that? Well, I wanted to have it somehow behind, but maybe up a little bit. I wanna have a way to adjust. Now the biggest things that people use are these various locking ball arms and a small rig makes one. However, it wasn't available when I ordered and it was more expensive, so I took a risk. But supposedly this Immorden one, which is supposedly a name brand, but there's a ton of them that look this way. But this one's supposed to have had pretty decent reviews. And so here's that. Let's slide this to the side. And based on what I can see online, as it should have, there it is, an Immorden logo. Hopefully you can see this on it itself. Now the way this works is it's supposed to be a single release. This has a little bit of grit to it. This, a little bit. You can hear it catching, probably. But as this releases, then these are supposed to be able to float. Then you get whatever position you want to be in. Then you screw this down and lock it. It's supposed to lock everything down. Now, I'm pretty impressed. It's pretty darn solid. It's actually quite solid. So what am I going to do with this? Well, first option is notice got a shoe mount. So, I could load this arm here. Now one thing that people are afraid of that I've read online is that some of these arms, the build quality that I can sister, they could slip or they could, these ball joints could fall out or fail at some point. Now the reason why I use the cold shoes, because again, easy setup and breakdown, right? And the idea is I didn't get just one, because what if one does fail? What if their ball joint does go away? Well, got a second one. And here is the second one. It's not smooth like butter, but it's not horrible. It's not super gritty. And I'm sure with a little bit of use, it'll be better. So, notice, two. I'm going to put these kind of in an approximate position and then just kind of tighten that down. And when you tighten it down, that kind of firms up everything. All right. It's still not bad, right? So take these off for now. I'll show you the next piece. Next piece is this. Again, it's a small rig. Sure, hope there's another Allen wrench inside. This is a cage for this guy. Now, again, notice this is not bad. It's got three quarter 20s on the top and the bottom. But what's even better is when you put it in a cage. This offers some protection, it also offers a lot more mounting options. So let's go ahead and mount this thing up. This came with some screws like this. Notice, it wants you to mount them from the bottom. So, insert. Insert. There we go. There is our frame. So two screws in the bottom, clearance for our USB port for updates and for other things. Access to our SD card, headphone jack. This also has a NATO rail on the top. You can see that there. See the profile. Has our quarter mounting holes, and then it also has some not only quarter but some three eighths. So here's what I had in mind. You take this and this. And we line it up approximately. It looks like we're basically on this hole and this hole. So we're going to thread this in. I'm just going to snug that. I got a little more. Get our positioning just so. We'll snug that. The ring. 
I'm going to trim this and adjust this to get it approximately where we would want it. Do the same thing with this one. Now, here comes the fun part. Now we can insert this one here. And then that one in. I'm just sitting here on the table, right? You can kind of adjust the way we want it and then lock this down. We take this and do a little bit of adjustability because it's not completely locked. Well, everything's locked in place. There we go. And there's our screen. We've got two handles. We've got our screen. It's visible. We've got enough room to access the batteries in the back. Okay. So there's one config possible configuration. So now we've got room. So this becomes a rig that can be basically all done with hot shoe mounts. You can undo these two mounts, pull your camera, pull your screen off, put your viewfinder, which this is also a recorder. You have your handles for your cage. You can also mount. The nice thing is that this with the frame, everything's sitting on the frame. It's not stressing any of the individual points. It's not stressing the screen. It's not stressing the camera. So I can set it down on the handles and on the frame of the screen. You can just sit there like that. I can come and grab it later. I can shoot with it and work with it. And I might come up with a few other ways to arrange this. Thank you very much for watching part two. However, there is actually one additional little part. I have found a different way to configure it, and so I'll post that new configuration after I get this one all edited together and put up.